where she's from, the way to get rid of this ghost is to like get some umbrellas, write some stuff on it in their language, and then they do like a seance in uh, their house, and like the demon or ghost goes into a like a little doll like it's made, it looks like a voodoo doll, and they burn the burn the thing and it's gone. And like I don't believe in ghosts myself at all, but that's kind of weird if you do believe in ghosts, I feel like, because, like, that's Southeast Asia. If we bring that, like, exorcism deal to, like, Latin America, what happens? Like, do ghosts speak all languages? Are they polyglots? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you die and you see the Rosetta Stone and go, ah, yes. I understand all of it. Oh, these people don't want me in their fucking house. Like, no, I don't think that that's the case. But maybe, maybe all religions are true. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's why it all works. But then that doesn't make sense either, because some religions specifically exist because they did not agree with uh, like an original religion they branched off. So that can't be true. So what I have left to think is maybe, or maybe other people who do believe in ghosts, all I have left to think is, well, maybe some ghosts are true, but not all ghosts are true. But isn't that kind of fucking ridiculous? Like, now we're like gatekeeping ghosts. Like, no, 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 those Southeast Asian ghosts, not real. Those could be explained by science. My ghosts, though, they here, these ones cannot be explained by science. These were not lens flares at all. Like, that, we're now like gaslighting other people into believing that their ghosts were not true. Like, do you not see how odd this is? Like, I refuse to believe that, guys. But, again, I, I don't think ghosts are real. I would, I'd like to hope we're not, because the more I think about it, the more convoluted I think it gets. I don't know. But Halloween, again, one of my favorite times of year. Uh, although many years ago, uh, for Halloween, uh, I had an ex-girlfriend. She lived in Cal Poly, San Luis Obismo, fantastic place. Uh, and she invited me over for Halloween, and I was like, oh, absolutely, I would love to go. I've never been, I don't know any of the locations, so obviously, reasonable person, I use my phone as my directions to get there. And on the way, my phone breaks, and the screen no longer works, and I'm fucked, because I don't have any idea how to get there. There's no visual aid, I think the sound was off, like I can't figure out how to get there. So I pull over, local gas station, on the 99, and I ask people, hey, do you know how to, I need directions to this, okay, can you, can you please help me? And they immediately tell me, do you have a smartphone? I'm like, no, I fucking, if I did, like, if it was working, I would not be asking, guys. Like, look at me, I'm fucking like, I was like 19 at the time. Like, does it look like I don't know how a smartphone works, how Google Maps or Apple Maps works? Like, of course, I know. Please don't tell me this. But consistently, every single time, people would tell me, do you have a cell phone? Do you have a smartphone? Do you know how to use a smartphone? Do you know about Apple Maps? Do you know about Google Maps? Hi, you just type it in there. Like, I know, people, please, I'm not. Who do I look like to you? So my last ditch effort is, hey, I'll go get a map. Maybe my, maybe the gas station here has a map. I go in, no map. And the cashier says, hey, buddy, do you need directions somewhere? I can help you. He's a sensible person for some reason. But he tells me, hey, uh, I'll print out directions for you. Uh, I'm ecstatic, oh shit, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Directions that's written down or printed, great. But he prints it out on receipt paper. Like I guess he connects it to his to his cash register. I have this fucking gigantic thing, and I say, "Well, can't you print it out on something else? Like, please? No, that's that's all I got. So I guess I can't complain too much. And I'm driving down. But now tonight, I've wasted so much time asking people directions on where to go and how to get there. So it's night time, and so I'm driving along down the 99 and my lights are on, and I'm reading the fucking Torah, I guess, so this long scripture, and I'm trying to figure out how to get where the fuck I'm going, immediately pulled over. Fuck me, right? And the, the cop comes up to me, and he's like, son, what are you doing? Why, you're clearly distracted driving. And I tell him, look, I got, like, MapQuest directions on my fucking receipt, this receipt paper, like, I, I need help, like, I, and I'm giving this whole spiel about how, like, I tried helping, or I tried asking people for, up for directions, and all this is that. And that's how I got off with this. And he says, son, do you have a smartphone? Like, ah. Thanks everybody for listening tonight. Uh, <laughs>